Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. You may have heard me talk about the different phases of the panel. What am I talking about? And how do you know which phase to use? Does it matter? All very good questions. First, let's go over what phases are. In most residential settings, you will have a single phase system. Single phase systems have two legs of power coming into the box. Where three phase systems, which you typically see in a commercial building, have three incoming hots. Confusing, right? Why have two hots coming in if it's only a single phase system? It's because some things in your home require 240 volts of power. Each phase coming into your panel carries 120 volts of power. This allows you to use both phases to get your 240 volts. You call this phase A and phase B. Let's look how they are connected in a panel. You see how they kind of interweave around each other as you go down the panel, kind of like a zipper? Every other spot down a panel is phase A. So it goes A, B, A, B, A, B, and so on. They do this so you can install a two-pole breaker. Since each phases are right on top of each other, when you put a two-pole breaker on, you get the 240 volts you need to power the load. 120 volts from phase A and 120 volts from phase B. Another important reason to know about phases is load distribution. You don't want all your loads on one phase. You want to balance them out evenly. Check out using our multimeter tool to learn how to read how many amps each phase is drawing. If you have a 100 amp main breaker, you get to play with 100 amps on phase A and 100 amps on phase B. So don't load everything up on one phase. Spread it out. Get the most out of your electrical system. Check out our other videos on installing breakers. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our page for more videos.